Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to another segment of Storytime with your children's ministry teachers. I'm Miss Greta, and I get to share another story with you today. My story has something to do with... Can you see what these are? These are hearts, right? Well, my story doesn't have anything to do with hearts, but it has a lot to do with love. The title of this book is called Love You, Love You. It was written by Mary Hessinger and illustrated by Allison Brown. Let's get started. Love you, love you, Mama squeaked. Into her nest, she quickly peeked. Sleeping babies softly snore. I've never felt such love before. Oh, they look very snug, don't they? Love you, love you, Daddy grumbled as the cubs to bed all tumbled. Then he tucked them in just right, patted them, and said, Good night. They definitely tumbled into bed. <laughs> love you, love you, Nana hissed, making sure they'd all been kissed. Little snakes all curled up tight. Nana turned off every light. There they are. Curled up tight with Nana. Good place to be. Love you, love you, Daddy yipped. Under covers, each pup slipped. Did he hear another noise? Was that pup's new squeaky toys? <gasps> it might have been. Looks like they have some squeaky toys there. Love you, love you, Auntie twittered calming Chicky as she jittered. Lightning flashes, thunder booms, wings all snugly like cocoons. They're nice and safe under Chicky's wings because there's a storm outside. Love you, love you, Uncle quacked. Sleeping ducklies almost stacked, all webbed feet and silky down. Happy quackers, not a frown. Everyone looks very comfortable. Definitely no frowns there. Love you, love you, sister purred. Kitten snuggled, no one stirred. Fuzzy fur and silky ears. Sweet and soft, all little dears. Oh, they look so soft and sweet. Love you, love you, brother croaked. Not another croak was spoke. Green toads on a lily pad, finally sleeping, brothers glad. Love you, love you, brother croaked. Not another croak was spoke. And that's the end of our book, boys and girls. You know what's wonderful about this book is everyone was loved. They were loved by nannies, and aunties, and grandmas, and grandpas, and mommies, and daddies. And did you know, boys and girls, that you're loved as well? You are deeply and greatly loved by your Heavenly Father. And even though you can't see Him with your eyes, He's with you. So whenever you're sad, or whenever you're worried, or whenever you're happy, anytime, you can talk to Him, and He'll be right there with you, caring for you, because He loves you that much. God bless you guys. See you next time.